<laughs> I would have, girl. Four badges, four badges. They take years to come, dog. Uh-huh. They not gonna come. I could have a whole episode, bitch, and still be good. Hey, I did it in the lab. I found a place for him to be to make this appointment. I got him at the place. He's been faithful to a plan that we had. So what about my plan? What about my, pl- my plan was get him screened. They put him on the calendar. I've been doing this for four years, right? We've been seeing this work all the time. But there's more than four people on the channel. No, I understand that, but they, but I don't know that. What I know is the guy that I'm dealing with this on. No, 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 I've never had to do that before. I go from the hospital, well placed, bring him to TBA. No problem. That's okay. That's okay. I'm interested in this right, right here, right now. Where's Kevo, bro? What? No. The game doesn't run on the weekend because of the coronavirus. Yeah, comp- right. Com- yeah, com- complications. Complications are I needed to outreach for this man today, and this was the plan that we had. We need to be clearer about this. This can't be first come, first serve. When we got a homeless guy that can't get out here and doesn't have a phone. My phone is his phone. My phone is his phone. But we're a drug rehab. Yeah, right. It's not for homeless people. No, I understand that. That's why he's here. Drug rehab. Drug rehab. Right. right. Yes. Why did I and this is my first time here. I came all the way from 14 miles in John North. Whether you were allowed to come here or yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only 12 o'clock. What's an appointment for? What's it for? Yes. Why do they say appointments? Bro, you niggas make up their own rules. Put them on the calendar. That's what they do. They put them on the calendar. Why do they put appointments in there? Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in how this works. We need, we need to talk about how this works. Exactly. Yeah. 800 years before the appointments, okay? Semantics. That's, so that's how we're doing it. Yeah. We're doing, we're doing All he do is intake. I don't think he's educated on this shit. You're going to be very interested to know that their appointments aren't actually appointments. This is good. This is good. Oh, yeah. Let me call, too. Uh, I'm, I, I don't know what to do with this guy now. I don't know how to call the help. Why would anybody have faith in it? ever looked at Yes. You put a certain time on yeah. Yeah, right. No, they say between this time and this time. It's like Oakdale. Get there at between 12 and 4. Right? I was told to get him here sometime today. And he is here sometime today. Right, but there was supposed to be a spot for him today. That, that would mean we would have had to turn away people that came here that were also on the calendar. Right, which, which, is, which is something that that uh, our company does as well, right? They don't make appointments for people if there's not one. We don't turn people away, though. If, we, if they have a bad hand or but a bad No, but you, but you are. We let them in. Right, but you are. Especially because we ran out of beds. There's more than four people on the camp. We only have four beds. Why? We sell cars we don't have. Like, uh, this is so not cool, man. Very cool. All right, we'll figure out what to do about this. Y'all, this is the location right here, y'all. I'm at the Quality, quality Behavior Health. They say they've been running this business like this for years. They the, they, they make up their own rules. Okay. The black men here, I believe they all they make up their own rules here. They make their own rules. I don't think... They don't follow nothing, no no rules by the book. Everybody that, that calls, if everybody that calls, if you say, have them call us before they come to make sure.
Yeah, they told me. They talking about me. They told me to be here at 10 a.m. I don't have a bed Y'all, this place been ran like this for years. It's all on Google review. I believe these this place make up their own rules. Like they even take your bridge. Oh, I'm talking on the phone, sir. Can you stop my conversation? I appreciate it. But I believe they make up their own rules here. Um, they take y'all food stamp cards, y'all bridge cards, and they go shopping with it. But then they, when after they go shopping with your bridge card, they they make a store out of it and they make you buy your goods back after they spend it with your bridge card. They go to the grocery store. They go to the grocery store with your. They make you apply for a bridge card. They get you approved if you get in here or whatever like that. All right, I'm gone. Oh, I'm gone. My Uber here. Y'all can kiss my ass. Kiss my fat ass. I won't be back up in this ghetto, motherfucker. Because y'all bitches made me come up here for no reason. Kiss my ass. Open this door, sir. Can you open this gate, please? I appreciate it. I hope they kiss my ass. They don't call me back no more. Mark ass trick. This my Uber right here. Let me get up in this bitch. And let me get my book bag off the ground. Hold up. Let me get my book bag. Please hold on. Give me my book bag. I get something here. Black. Yeah. How you doing today? Do you think you can stick this uh, charger in the charger for me, please? If you got enough phone, please. Uh, yeah. Oh, your phone charger? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They just they didn't even, I was about to go to rehab, and they're going to tell me they ain't got no beds and stuff like that. This place is just so ghetto. I just cussed them out from A to Z. Ah. That's messed up. Now I ain't got no choice to go home. What happened, bro, bro? They told me, um, they said they ain't had no beds and stuff. Oh, hell no. That's not how you sleep on the floor? Yeah. They said they ain't got oh, no Oh, hell beds. no. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, we, we can't do that, bro. Yeah, the white people was in there fashion because a man just came in there with his client. A man just came in there with his client. And, you yeah. know, he was a uh, he was a white man. So I'm thinking a white man about to push through. You feel me? They they not going by yeah. the rules and nothing like that. White man got on the oh, phone with the 1-800 nah, number. But, you know, they say that business is on a review. If you look on the reviews, everything that's on the reviews, I was being told when I walked through the door. They say they steal yeah. money. They rob you right in there. You could get robbed in there. I never knew you could get robbed in a rehab. They dirty nah, in there. Bro, they say that one, bro, that when they feed you, you don't get nothing one. to drink. With your meals, you don't get nothing to drink. So don't expect no water or no Kool-Aid or nothing like that. You don't get nothing to drink, they said. And they take nah, your food stamp card. Bro, bro. They go shopping with your food stamp card, and then they sell you the items. What are you lying? I swear to God. Oh, yeah, bro. That's, that's some fucked up shit. Hell, just, just stay strong though you feel me yeah so i'm i'm gonna try to find somewhere else now nah, that's my best option. strong bro bro because i want to go to rehab i gotta find yeah, somewhere stay strong somewhere. bro okay okay so is we getting high today no i'm not i gotta find out what rehab i'm going to Amen. Let me get the rehab number. Hold up. Let me get the number for y'all so I can pin it.
If anybody know the rehab number, put it in the comments so I could pin it. Man, it was so unprofessional. Man, the, the the nurse that came out, I finally saw the nurse. And I'm thinking the nurse might be white and pretty with pearly white. Bro, when she came out there, she was black. And she didn't, like, her wig was peeling. Like, you can see her. Like, don't you know how I be wearing my wigs? And y'all be like, Tay, pull your wig down. I was ready to tell her to pull her wig down. Her stuff was, he was black and it was just showing. I'm like, oh my God, this is the hood. She don't see her wig lifting. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. This was just like so ghetto. Like, oh my God. But I, I knew it was in Detroit. I was giving Detroit, I had my faith in the city. But man, I can't have the faith in the city like that, bro. It stinks in there. It it, it was dirty. Um, man, they had one nigga with one arm. I saw a nigga with one eye. Everybody looked at odd as hell. They had one nigga sitting outside the rehab. Like he was going through some serious withdrawals. Man, I was ready to help him. He was going through some shit, the nigga that was sitting out. He needed it more than me. If I had the chance to give a bed up, I was giving a bed to that man. I believe that needed, he needed help. He was going through withdrawals, fighting for his life, bro. He couldn't even talk. I was asking him, was he good? I would have gave my bed up to that nigga. <clears throat> so... My, I'm going to find me a rehab center. I'm gone still. So I'm about to find me something. I'm about to go home. I'm about to call some more 1-800 numbers. But the ones they was going to put me in in the suburbs, they, they was talking about. So that's going to be Monday. So I'm, I'm just going to stick with the suburbs. I, I only went to this one because this one was the next day option. You feel me? For the rehab center. The other one is going to be like uh, probably like next week. This one, I chose this rehab because this was the open availability. And they had set me an appointment up for 10 o'clock. They set me an appointment. You know, they said I was going to arrive there, you know, arrive there around 10 a.m. But when I still got there, they said it was no bids at 10 a.m. And then they told the other white man that I just recorded the whole uh, recorded the whole thing. He, he coming there with a homeless client of his and they still not giving him a bid. Man, that shit just crazy, man. It's stinking there. The man there that he worked there, he about 80 years old, dog. He don't know nothing. All he know how to clock people in. All he know how to write people down, name down. He don't know nothing educational wise, bro. The business is not ran like a business, dog. I would never go there and spend no money at no rehab center like that, bro. It's just horrible. I know good business and I know professionalism. If that nigga could work at the counter in a doctor office, maybe I can. I could do anything I put my brain to, dog. They got some goofy ass people out here working that don't know shit. And they, they not using professionalism, not at all. These people did, or I'm mad as fuck. I wanted the box and I, uh, I really need help. And then when I was walking to the store, when I was flashing that place, all that was the rehab too. So all them people that I was showing that was behind that gate got COVID-19. They all caught COVID-19 inside that rehab building right there, they said. That's one man was trying to coach me on. One of the people. They all caught COVID-19 in that building. And they was that's why they all at that motel. It's not a motel. That is a part of the rehab building. But that's so ghetto. It still say motel. They just haven't took the sign down. They bought the building and didn't take the motel sign down. It's a part of the rehab, though. But everybody with COVID-19 is behind that fence. That shit looked as sick. Yeah, I'm about to find somewhere else, bro. I'm about to go finish searching this shit, dog. I found she gave me a couple of couple of ones, and but it was like you know next week. This was the immediately one because I felt like I needed help the next day. So and it was and it was this one, and they don't have no beds. I was even giving a ghetto a try. I was gonna go through it, bro. Follow through it and everything, dog. But uh, it always something, bro. Something just don't want me to get help or something. Ain't no beds. What? And then the smell, man. It was just a smell. And it was a professional lizard. Them. Man, I saw him was doing a COVID. He was doing COVID tests and shit, you know. And he was sticking it up our nose and shit. I ain't, he, ain't get, he ain't get to my nose yet. And ain't had no bed. But the way he was roughing them addicts up and talking to them niggas. Like, what? I'm a regular nigga sitting right here. You ain't going to talk to me like that. They was getting treated badly and poorly in that bitch. Oh, my mama. I'm like, What? Hell no, you is not going to stick none of my nose like that and tell this nigga to chill. Th this nigga was just rude. They were just rude. 
Bro, who wears Jordans to work, dog? This nigga had on J's, dog, the white man. Them bitches was fresh, though. But this nigga was wearing it like he was black. Then nigga had, do you know how we wear our, he ain't even had a shoestring side. He had them bitches hanging like that, nigga. Different size. I'm like, this nigga on his J3. Girl. He seemed very too. It was, man, I'm just gonna, I, I gotta get me help quick as possible. So I'm about to go home. I'm about to find me somewhere. Shit, I need the help, bro. If anybody knows somewhere there to take me out of state, shit, I'm ready to go to Atlanta and just like go to a rehab out there, shit, for 30 days. You know what? You know what? That's what I'm about to do. So I might just need a ticket. I'm about to fly. I need the best rehab center that's going to take my Medicaid, bro. If I'm going to do this shit for uh, 30 days now, I got a whole nother plan. Now. I'm about to go out of town and do this shit. Like, I'm about to just pick a state like Mississippi, Texas or something. But I'm going to get in touch with the rehab first. I'm going to set that shit up for show, for show. And all I got to do is get my ticket now. I got to get my plane ticket, bro. This shit bold, bro. Because I'm, dog, this shit like setting me back, resetting, bro. I'm tired of that shit. Fuck you mean, dog. Shit make me actually want to cry. I'm hurt. I'm hurt that I feel tears and shit about to come, bro. This shit hurt my feelings, low key. I'm fucking hurt, dog. Fuck. Like real shit, I'm fucking hurt. This shit most definitely hurting my feelings, man. It most definitely did, dog. Thinking I'm about to get help and I don't get help. I was expecting this shit, dog. Hey, I'm sorry that happened. Um, I think you should call two on one, um, and look for other rehab centers. And also, go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. Tell them that you have withdrawals, and go from there. The, the emergency room. Yeah. Okay. All right. Outpatient treatment that will give you. Somebody did tell me a methadone clinic clinic too when I was in there. Some white man told me a myth to go to a methadone clinic, bro. I wanted to go to rehab. I wanted to go. Cause I wanted to, I wanted to come out that door 30 days later and feel new. I did. And I'm still am. I just gotta find somewhere. I'm not going on nowhere, nobody's miles no more, bro. Detroit is dead as fuck. Much as I love Detroit, shout out to Detroit, shout out to Santa Grace Hospital. I was born there. But me taking my business and doing business in Detroit is a no-no. Only business that's going to get it is Conley Island. Because I Conley Island, they never had a problem with me yet. I fuck with Conley Island. That's the only place in Detroit I shop, dog, or go. Everything, the doctor's office, all of them is unprofessional, dog. They got crackhead white people working in that bitch. You think it's the professional white people? They had crackhead white people, bro. Like, they been on this shit they self. And now they got a job. And they think they recovering shit. No, my baby. Shit don't work like that. Y'all niggas need degrees for shit like this. That shit crazy, dog. No, I'm gonna find me somewhere. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call that same number that I called when I uh about this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna cuss her out. I ain't gonna cuss her out. I ain't gonna cuss her out. The person who need to be cussed out is the people there. And they would just. I'm gonna just tell them they were so unprofessional. You know the smell. Once I went in there, the smell contracted me, man. The smell hit me hard, harder than anything. I don't know if that's 
That because all them bums was sitting in one room. All them bums sitting in one room, bro. That shit was was stank, and they mostly homeless. I don't want to go nowhere in Detroit. They all homeless, and they go to rehab because they homeless. I won't help. I need to pay the twenty thousand dollar and go to that rehab. I need the good rehab. I need the good shit. I need to go where uh, where Lil Wayne, baby mama, mama went. Was that Toya, baby mama? I mean Toya, mama. I want to go with Toya, mama went when she was on crack. I need to go to the real shit. Cause I watched that lady's story too, and her story, uh, her her story, it didn't help me because I wasn't on drugs back then. But I watched that lady's story; it hit me. It did hit me some type of way. When Ti, or not Ti, what was her name? Yeah, Ti and Tani. No, not Ti and Tani. Uh, Toya, Toya from New Orleans. When her show was on, her mama was on crack, y'all. Lil Wayne, baby mama, mama, she was on crack, man. And uh. Toya had got her help and shit and her mama wanted the restaurant and stuff, but her mama couldn't have no control of the restaurant or nothing like that because of the drugs and stuff. So Toya wanted her mama to go to rehab, I believe, for 90 days or something like that. And when she come out of rehab, the lady was gonna have her own restaurant and stuff like that. That story was um that was a, a story that hit me and it was touching, you know. Yeah, Toya mama was on crack. Thank you, Beyonce, for your $15 today, dog. This shit crazy, bro. I got to. I got to still make this happen some type of way. I got to go to rehab, bro. I got too much support behind me, dog. And I I, I want the withdrawals to stop. That's what I want. It's not going to stop because I'm going back, bro, at home. Just because they got no beds, the withdrawal is not going to stop. It's, it's still continuing now. I just got to go home and search, man. Search again. And I'm searching for a Suburban. I only went to this Detroit location because this was the only one that could get me in the very next day. Other, the other ones, she was saying, like, Monday. So, Monday, not bad, nah. She was saying, like, Monday and shit like that. I wasn't trying to wait till Monday to get in the Suburban one. I wanted the Suboxone because I didn't want to deal with the withdrawals the next day. Hey, Tay. Hey. Now, Tay, you know you was late, Tay. It, it don't, wait, it don't matter, though, about the late part, though. When I still arrived, they, said they still, be there before they still said they didn't have be no there. beds. They still said they didn't have no beds. I was there. It don't. Mm -hmm. it, if I was there at Tay. 8 o'clock in the morning, they still didn't have no beds. That's what he was saying. If I was there at 9 a.m., he still don't have no beds. All right, so let's go to the ER, Tay, because they going to help you out immediately. Tay. Yes. So look, I work in the ER department and I deal with the mental health. All the thing you got to do, go to the ER, tell them you need help and they'll ask you, they don't have no beds where you at, they'll ask you how far are you willing to travel and they will send you anywhere. I'm telling you, I've been doing this for 23 years. Okay. Only thing you got to do is go to the ER and tell them you need help, you having withdrawals and you will talk to somebody. They'll let you talk to a psych, a psych person first, though, because they'll ask you, are you trying to harm yourself? Are you trying to kill yourself or kill anybody else? But you you can pass them questions. And then they, if they ask you, do you want to get help? Just tell them, yeah, and they'll send you somewhere. This was hurtful, bro. That It actually hurt my feelings, dog, to where I wanted to cry. When somebody told me they didn't have a bed today, dog, and I was really expecting this, dog. I went and got my cigarettes and everything. I would have never went and got none of that stuff. The no. only thing about it, when you go to the ER, though, if they don't have a bed, you can end up staying in the ER for like two or three days. Now, that is that is one of the processes of waiting for a bed. But if you want to go out somewhere farther, they'll just do like a, nat a, a nationwide search for you to see who got a bed. And they will just send you. You can go, um, they'll send you by ambulance. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tay. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right, baby. Um, I'm, I'm in Chicago, boo, and I've texted you on, I'm sorry, I've, uh, put in your comments that I was just like you, Tay. 
tomorrow I will celebrate oh, 30. My bad. I will celebrate 30. I'm working. Years. My bad. Did you turn me off? No, go ahead. I can hear you. I was trying to mute the other lady. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Tomorrow I will be celebrating 30 years clean. Okay. We know, we know, at least I know about the disease of addiction. And what it sounds like is happening right now is you on some BS. Who, me? Yeah. Did they give your bed? When I first walked in the door, bitch, what they tell me at the door, bitch? Ain't no beds, bitch. When I first walk in the door, stop saying I knew that shit before I went to the store. Because before, as soon as I walked in the building, nigga, he said there's no beds on the live. But I still sat there thinking I could get a bed by arguing my way in. And I couldn't argue my way in. And that's before I went in the building. Before I went in the building, I went and got the cigarettes. Man, that place just a slop. It ain't worth it going there, man, to that Detroit location, bro. Never again. It was an embarrassment, not just on me. It was embarrassing. That's an embarrassment on my supporters, my family, and my surrounding ones, man. That place should be shut down, dog. On my mama. Just the just the just the way it smell and the smell, bro, really got me. And then they said we on bump beds. I don't mind being on a bump bed, but please do not put no old man on my bump bed, please. Cause I'ma feel like I'm being molested every night of my sleep. I've been raped eleven times. Get my backpack, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to look for another rehab. That's what I'm finna go search for. And I'm about to set some. Sh I'm about to go in here and call it 1 800. I gotta set some shit up. I gotta get help. <gasps> help. Hello. Hey, it's Faye. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good. Um, from my own experience from dealing with withdrawals and stuff like that, I used to be on perks, right? I don't know exactly what you want, you know, but this is mine. Now, I used to be on perks. All right. Where I was from, I was put on by my doctor because I had a real bad back problem. All right. So when I told him I wanted to come off, um, he referred me to like a hospital or whatever like that. But the only thing they did for me at that hospital, the only I'm gonna be honest, the only thing they gave me in the morning, yep, they gave was, me clonid right for here, my blood one. pressure. Yeah, you can do huh? It. No, I was telling my driver I'm at my house. Good. Oh, okay. The only thing they gave me was clonidine for the blood pressure, Xanax for um anxiety, because I suffer from anxiety really, really bad. And then like couldn't sleep at night they'll try to give you seroquel or something else but i couldn't take seroquel i mean because it gave me like nightmares and stuff like that so now if you can't find anywhere to go you can go to the er and they will give you like um medicine like to take at home for your blood pressure the anxiety and something to sleep okay like if you you know like if there's nowhere that you can find to go you know because i just had a friend like where we're from it's only one place to go and of course it's covid right now and all the beds are taken up and so she went to the er and that's what they did for her 
But after that, she did get into a uh, doctor office to take Suboxone and stuff like that. I didn't get on no other plan, you know, because, like, when I was in that place, like, it was a girl in there that was coming off of the Suboxone and Methadone, and she said that was worse than coming off of the pills, you know, so... I don't know. I was just trying to give you, you know, like if if you can't find anywhere, if you can find those things and detox at home, like you could do it that way too. If you could find Clondine, a couple of things, and something to sleep at night, like Seroquel or whatever like that, and just do it for a week, and you'll be okay. Okay. Just was trying to help.
was crazy, dog. I just gotta find somewhere else now. I'm about to look and find somewhere else, dog. Right? Cause I'm tired of suffering, bro. Oh my God. It's a restart again, bro. I hate starting over. Like, I hate starting over, bro. Like, dog, do you know I was up all night waiting to go to rehab? I swear to God. Bro, I've been up all night waiting to go to rehab. I didn't go to sleep. Like, I was waiting for the exact time, bro. I was waiting, bro. All night, I thought about rehab, bro. That was the only thing on my mind was rehab, bro. I swear to God. The only thing, I, I couldn't sleep. I was so excited to go to rehab, bro. I was excited because that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm going to call somewhere else. <clears throat> I'm about to call. I'm about to, that's what I'm about to do now. I'm about to get off here in a minute. I'm about to call some 1-800 numbers and shit, dog. This shit crazy, dog. No, y'all can't look with me. I can't let you know what location I'm at. But it won't be no Detroit location. That's all I need is a Suboxone. That's all I need is Suboxone because I'm about to find some Suboxone on the streets then. Why they won't provide me no Suboxone at the doctor's office, dog? Go to a methadone. So I'm about to go look for a methadone office, a, me a methadone clinic. All right, a methadone clinic. Any other, if you got a suggestions, if that's the word, you can put the suggestions in my inbox. Or you can make a suggestion right here. Man, I'm so mad. But listen, I just came up here real quick. Shit is about to get real. Okay, so if you're really serious, you're in the same boat that I was in. Okay, I'm 39 years old. I met a dude, right? And I was, he was 32. I had just left a 13-year marriage. I ain't never knew. He hid the fucking drugs from me for three months. I didn't know it, but he was real lubby-dubby when he took them. So he told me about it. I was wondering why. He told me on a Wednesday. Immediately got him help. On a Friday, I took him out of town. Took him like an hour and a half away. Country, got him out of the city here in Virginia. Put him in a hotel for the whole weekend. When I said put him in there for the whole weekend, he had muscle spasms. He was up and down. He couldn't move. Only thing that helped them was sweets and syrup for to put him to sleep and hot showers. Mm -hmm. When I say I took him away to get him away from everything, yes, a hotel to get him away from everything from everybody. What I'm saying, I did this on a Friday because Monday he was prepared to go in there like you are, okay? And they said that when he come in Monday, we can give him suboxone. I said, no, 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 we're not doing none of that because that is just another form of addiction. Okay, so what I'm saying is you're home with your mother now. Go ahead on in there. Let her know that you're going to do this Monday. Get off here. Find somebody. Let her know, Mom, can you stick with me for the rest of the night, the weekend? Hold me because you're going to need her. You're going to need her. You're going to sweat. You're going to hurt. You're going to have muscle spasm. You're going to do. I never even experienced. I experienced it for a whole weekend. Took him in there Monday, dropped him off, let him go. He came back home 30 days. He was straight. But what I'm saying do that. You're there with your mother. If you want to do it, call now. Don't take nothing else this weekend. Let your mother be there with you. Get you some rest. You're going to hurt. You're going to cry. It's going to keep you up. You're going to get up and you're going to walk. You're going to pace the floor. When I say you're going to pace it, baby, you're going to pace it. You're going to pace it. You're going to hit the wall. You may do a few things. You're going to cry. I mean, when I said that, I just sat up in the bed, just looked at him and at him and just held him. Never even experienced it. When I said I did that for a whole weekend, Monday I took him and dropped him off. He came out there 30 days. He was good. Do it. Let your mama know. You're going to hurt. You're going to sweat, baby. Be close to the shower. Take plenty of showers. The worst thing I have is the night, the, the fucking crawls, bro. Like the skin crawling. Don't you know, like, the, my, like my skin be crawling and shit, so it be making me, you ever watch the movie? Uh, the showers. Like the showers. The showers. If you have to get in there, take the showers two, three minutes. Just let the shower run over you. Hot showers. 
It's going to loosen your muscles up. It's going to stop them skin crawls. Your muscles, the muscles are going to pull. They're going to track or they're going to hurt. But you got to do it for this weekend until Monday when you go in there. But I'm telling you, baby, do what you got to do. Yes. Go ahead and eat. You ain't going to want to eat, but have you some sweets beside. I don't know what sweets is doing, but sweets did a lot for him. But that's it. That's all I got to say, baby. And I wish you luck and I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, y'all. Y'all, bro. That's where my uh my economy stuff come in. I've been I I listen to my mom and daddy. So in a bad way. So I intend to act like my parents. That's when Detroit thought come in at with the wigs and stuff. So I am a good listener. I listen and I learn. And I use this shit later on in life. Like all this shit is building up. Like I hear everything. I'm a good listener. And then I, you know. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. <clears throat> I just want to let you keep saying you get a setback, but I just want to let you know a delay is not a defeat. Just because you can't get it today, you can get it next week or whatever. But I understand where, right where you were at. I was addicted to Percocets for like six, seven years. And just like everybody's saying about the Suboxins, I'm on Suboxins right now. If you just want to go cold turkey, cold turkey without no drugs i would suggest that you don't get you don't you don't get on suboxone because that ain't doing nothing but suppressing you still taking it for the same you still taking it to feed your addiction and all of that the only reason why i like suboxone is because i save a lot more money than when i was taking percocet so and rock season gonna make me feel like i'm still taking perk <laughs> right but you're not gonna take it like how how you a pop a perk because it's gonna last you all day. You know how they look, right? It's like a list of green strip. Oh, it's a box. They come in. That, oh, yeah. It's 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 a they they come in pill form and they come in um like a you know how the old listerine look things we used to put on our tongue. Yeah, it looked like that, but it's orange or whatever. But <laughs> anyways, um yeah, you you just not gonna take it as much as you would take a Percocet because it's gonna last you all day. But like I was saying, if you want just want you you just want to get away from the Percocets or whatever you do, I wouldn't suggest Suboxone because you you gonna be dependent on it because that's what I did it for. I get Suboxone. I went to an outpatient clinic or whatever, and I paid my um my Medicaid pay for half of it, and I have to pay for the rest of it, and I go every month. But I mean, I'm still dependent on it, you know. But that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Just keep going. I know exactly where you at, baby. I appreciate the advice. I'm just about. To, I'm about to call a couple of more places. I'm about to set me something up. That's what I'm about to do. Somebody about to set me up an appointment. So that's. Hey, Tay. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Okay. What I wanted to say is just be real with yourself. Like, why would you get off an of addiction of a pill to get on another one? You know what I'm saying? I don't think you should do another pill. Just like, I'm, do you smoke weed? Yeah, I smoke weed. Weed was never a uh, weed was never an issue with me until until I started the purpose set. So if I smoke weed now, right. if I smoke a blunt right now, right, right, I ain't do no drugs. Mm -hmm. So if I smoke mm -hmm. a blunt right now, my withdrawals are hit so hard for a perk, it'll hit me. I'd be high, but my withdrawals will kick in. My chest immediately started hurting. It, it triggers it triggers the withdrawals, the weed. That's what it does. It oh, triggers yeah. my withdrawals. I don't know about anybody else, but if I smoke weed right now without the purpose, it mm -hmm. triggers the withdrawals real, real bad. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. So, yeah, you honestly, you should just, you just need to go on like a, de a detox, a cleanse, and you just need to get rid of all of that weed, everything. And then once you, you know, once you get off the of perks and all that, maybe you could like get weed again, come back with weed, and just like strictly be on weed. Because me and you, we like the same age. You're 22, right? Yeah, I'm 23, 23. You twenty three, yeah. So you should just, you know, you a strong young man. So you should definitely, st you know, because you doing good with your life. You is, but just the pills just really got to go. Because every time I watch you, like I love watching you, but I'd be like, uh. And then people in the comments be supporting you with the pills, and I don't get that. Like they sending you money for pills, but they could be sending you money towards an apartment or money towards a cleanse, a detox. But they send you money towards a pill. I don't get that. You should delete all that out your life. Any bad influence, you should delete. So maybe you should take a break from the app, honestly. Like a month break or something. I thought that'd be that best. Be good for me. I'm in depression. But uh, hey, Tay. Hey, how you doing? But I'm about to drop, okay? Love you. Love you too. Um, I, I totally feel what you're going through because I'm going through the same thing. But I'm, I'm not as bad. But let me tell you what to do. Don't, don't do it 
cold turkey because that ain't gonna do them and make you sicker. You can't you can't fight it cold turkey. And far as the suboxins, suboxins is a blocker. A suboxin you take and it supposed to block your uh, fiend for you know fiend for the pills and your withdrawal for three days. You're supposed to take them every three days. They're not an everyday take because the suboxin lasts three days. It's a blocker, which it supposed to block you from um uh, fiending for the perks. It's supposed to um uh, help you with your withdrawals. Or if you don't want to do the suboxin, um, I'll say wing yourself. You know, based off how many perks you take a day. Like if you take a perk ten. I'll break it and do a uh, part five. Like, you know, take a five. Um, the first, you know, when you wake up and then take another one at night, like do it twice a day. Just only a five, though. You know, like, so there'll be two. Uh, it'll, it'll equal a part 10 a day. But that's, you can do it that way, too, to wean yourself off. Like, don't take as many as you're supposed to take. And I don't care about that saying, girl, because I'm going through the same mm -hmm. thing you're going through. Except for I'm on 30s. So I know how you feel. And what I did, I tried the rehab. I tried out it, so it didn't work. So what I did, I started with the suboxins. And when I take a suboxin, like I said, it's a blocker. And it, it's, it, it'll it stop you from feeling for the pill. It, I don't care if you take 30 pills, you will not feel it on that suboxin. It will, you will not feel it. You'll waste your money. You can do that. Or I, what I started doing was winging myself. Like if I take a 30, what I did was I, I had my moment control in control of it so I won't take more pills. So she'll give me a half. She'll give me like a five, like a half, a half of a perk 10. She'll break it. Hey, give me that five when I wake up. And then that next half, she'll get to me before I go to sleep. No, and I did it for like a week off. and I was good. Yeah, I just want to be so hey, cool so I could wear my wig. Hey, you just... You need to find a doctor in your area that prescribes Suboxone. You won't even have to go to a, um, a a rehab or whatever if you can do it at home. That's how I did it. I've been on the program now for, I'd say, I'd say 12 years. I was hooked on Oxycontin 80s, and I take four or five a day, and it was really, really bad. But I got that on Suboxone and changed suboxone. my you life. I've actually bought a home. You be sick as fuck. I bought a home. I bought a car. I mean, you you can do really, really, really good on the Suboxone program. Just look in your area for a doctor that prescribes them because then you'll only have to take urine screens to follow up along with it. Like, they, they make you go in, or you can even do it at home. You can, like, get on the, the um, phone, and then they'll send you your kits in the mail, and you just take your urine screens right at home and send them right in through the mail. I'm telling you, the Suboxone is a lifesaver. It really is. So, okay. And they'll, they'll like, prescribe them to what you need it for, too. Like, yeah, I need to stop telling my baby stuff like that. This shin shin. Mm. Leave yeah. him alone. He going to do what he got to do for himself. Yeah. Ain't that you right, can't, baby? Because you can't find a, 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 right a place young. to get you in, Jay. She's funny as hell. That's not my mama. But I'm you just can't find a place to get you in. So just try to find a doctor, baby. That's all okay. I'm saying. I'm trying to help you. I am I was right there with you, baby. Okay, that's what I'm finna do now. I'm about to get off here and call my regular doctor. If there's anything I can do for you, you message me on here. You you hear me? Yes. I'm serious. I, I love your show. I love you, and I want to see you get better, baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm finna <sighs> love you. Now, I'm going to call my doctor first, and after the doctor... I'm going to ask my doctor yes. to get something. You I'm got sure. the right mentality right now, Tay. Don't wait. Do it. You're, you, you know, you're, you're, you're facing that freaking road. You, you Just go down it, baby. Do this. Yes. You got it. I know you. Yes, ma'am. I'm about to. I'm about to do this right now, y'all. I'm going to call y'all back. Oh, my gosh. Have something to say, princess? Yes, I have something to say. My thing is, why are all these drug addicts coming up here trying to tell you to take more drugs? If you're still on drugs right now, stop trying to give this man advice, telling him to get other drugs. Something is wrong with y'all. Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick as hell. Funny. He's trying to get help. Like, this shit is really sad. It's so many drug addicts in here. That's why y'all love coming in this live, giving him money. Because y'all drug, add drug addicts yourself. This shit is sick. The fuck? Listen, I don't even want the camera on. But listen to me, Tay. I ain't no pill popper, but I'm telling you just off watching you, that nigga, all you got to do is cut that shit short. Stack that money that you be hustling up on because you are so entertaining. I, thank you. Well, and you are, the purse. It's, it's the purse. That's the only thing. And it, the, I be buying like 10 to 15 a day. And if I, if I could max out on them bitches, I probably would max out. I don't know. I don't want to be. But it's all it's all mental like, thing. I, 
though, nigga. It's the, it's the mental. It's the mental, I'm telling you. And you don't be weak-minded. That's it. All you got to do is want, want better. By now, you will have everything you want from a nice little ride, a little apartment, one bedroom fully furnished. Because you get up and hustle like that and you so fucking entertaining, nigga. Stop bullshitting and be stronger than the motherfucking drugs. Don't let that shit, don't be up here on no crackhead shit, nigga. You fine as fuck. You young as fuck. You ain't got no motherfucking kids. So all your money going to you. Stack that shit up. I'm at work on my lunch break getting high right now. <laughs> nigga, all I do is get high. I don't do <laughs> shit else. I got I got to be back in at one. But I just came out here to say, get your motherfucking hustle on, bitch. You a smart ass, fine ass. Little gay ass nigga, and I've been watching your ass. I never go live. You hear me? Yeah. Never. I probably went like once or twice when I first got it, but I never go live. You are the best entertainer on this bitch. Get that bread, stack that shit. Don't smoke. Don't don't dump yourself up with all the money that you get, nigga, to not have shit to show for it. But I ain't gonna talk y'all to death because I'm a good talking motherfucker, okay? But I'm gone, and I love your black ass. I love you. Bye. Okay, so I don't get how people are saying with other people that was on the same thing that you were on trying to help you is crazy and sickening. How if they were taking the same thing that he was taking and they're just trying to get him, you know, different types of help. I just feel like, Tay, do what's best for you. You know what you want to do. You know what you want out of life. You said every fucking dad. Yeah, I did that. You know what you want. Now you just have to put your talking into motion, into action. Yeah. Act on what you want. Because you could talk about what you want all day. But act on what you want. That's it. That's it. That's all. Do what's best for you. Get off this phone. Yes. Call your doctor. If the doctor not dead, there's one 800 numbers that can help you. Sue just said she can send you some Sebastians. I can send you Sebastians. They sell them on the, on the side of the Child, all these legal doctors, like just go to the ER. But that's if you want them. No, don't I, go to no emergency room. That's stupid. Don't go to no emergency room. That's dumb. They ain't going to do nothing but try to How is that dumb, Mama? Because they're going to put him in placement. He don't need to be in placement. That's where he need to be at. No, I'm going to call... Yeah, don't go to no damn... Boy, don't go to no emergency <laughs> room. Don't listen to these people. Fucking doctor. Going to no damn... <laughs> call your doctor.